Hello, my name is Shalene Ariwi, and today I'll be talking about the GoHive platform and its contribution to mobility as a service. So this presentation will also give a bit of insight on some of the necessary skills that you may need in development of mobility as a service applications and some of the challenges that you may experience uh, before, during and after deployment of the projects as such. So before we move on to GoHive and how it performs its functionalities, maybe we can run down briefly on what mobility as a service is and its importance to the society. So mobility as a service is a key component uh, for any future mobility system, and this will play an important role in enhancing social inclusion, especially in rural areas. So you can integrate different modes of transport, and this improves and increases the quality of life of people who are living or visiting the areas. So apart from it having an economic benefit to people who use uh, mobility as a service to move around, there is also the green factor where it is more integrating and it's, there's more sharing, there's less cars, and there's a less uh, carbon footprint as well. Platforms such as uh, the GoHi um, are seen to be an evolution in Europe of the concept of mobility as a service. And you're able to use such platforms to access information and transport information specifically in a personalized way. So GoHi is um, a mass Scotland um, mobility as a service platform that was launched in June 2021 by the Highlands and Islands Transport Partnership, also known as HITRANS. And the aim of developing an app as such is to, was to improve accessibility to integrated transport services, not only for residents, but also for tourists, for business travellers um, within the Scotland Highlands and, and Islands. So this is a free to app, free to use app that integrates multiple transport and travel options into one platform. So there's more reliability, you have planning capabilities, there's an ease of access to information, you have in-app ticketing, and there's a hassle-free payment system. Platforms such as the GoHi, um, you with platforms such as these, you can have instant access to buses, trains, ferries, you know, all these different forms of, of transport and it allows the users to be able to plan bespoke door-to-door -door journeys with ease. So as mentioned in the previous slide, the GoHi platform is a free-to-use app and you can download it um, on your devices um, from your stores and you can quickly see different modes of transport which includes active, shared and micro-mobility uh, forms of transport. You have accessibility to integrated transport services that, such as bike share, the buses, the DRT, the train, the car rental, taxi, and we also have air transport services included in the system. So one may ask, what was the need of developing the GoHi app or the GoHi platform? So before GoHi was launched as a project in the Highlands and Islands of Scotland, there were several challenges that were initially being experienced by residents in the region. And among these problems includes um, there was an increase in tourist numbers. There was a largely growing economy and population. And looking at these factors as opportunities and not setbacks brought about the need for innovation from the traditional means of travel and introducing mobility as a service within the area. Through understanding the problems that were faced in the region, it is then possible to be develop solutions that are bespoke and specifically designed to cater to the needs of anyone who lives within the region or anyone who comes to visit the area. So even after ruling out the GoHi project, uh, there are still some challenges that we face and experienced at different levels and different phases of the projects. And for starters, the local bus operators all have different ways of conveying and managing their data. And the GoHi platform currently has 18 operators and they all have different platforms. And for them to be compatible to a system, it means that you have to fully understand and integrate all their functionalities into one holistic system. This means that you need to have skill, you need to have experience, and you have to have an experienced team that would be able to understand the needs of each provider and be able to put them into one system that would work together with all the other providers. 
Another challenge is that technology is a very dynamic system and it's always changing. So this means there's always so much to discover every time. And there are always new options of facilities such as ticketing that are always coming to play. You need to be up to speed with technological trends that are especially useful to the users. So you as a developer may be prompted to constantly change your interface based on user needs and experiences. Because at the end of the day, we all want to be the best and we all want to give the best facilities to the users who are accessing the system. Lastly, there are also some local operators that may be new to Scotland, and most of them are usually smaller operators that uh, work within the rural areas, and they may need to learn local requirements. And this means that there's a constant need to refresh providers in certain areas, and this also requires them to have training to understand the systems if they need to be brought on board. And because they're just learning the ropes of the system, it might take some time for them to adapt to the tech platforms as well. These are just but some of the challenges that are faced during the development phases and the running phases. Even so, the platform, when it's when it's up and running, there's still constant need for maintenance and engagement. And this is so that you can further consolidate the objectives of your platform. So for you to be able to maintain and keep engaging people into using your platform, you need to identify the key target audiences and perceive ways of reaching out to them and encouraging them to use the platform. For instance, in the GoHi system, the marketing strategy is mostly targeted to existing registered GoHi users, high trans residents currently using their own cars to travel around the high trans region, and this is so that you can encourage them to move from private ownership and start using public transportation or shared transportation. We also reach out to high trans residents who currently use multiple public transport operators in the high trans region. And you also can target business travelers traveling into and around the high trans region, as well as tourists who are also traveling in the region for short breaks. So by reaching out or contacting the targeted audiences that have been mentioned, you can encourage them to use the mass platform by, you know, getting feedback surveys, having targeted email campaigns, you know, advertisements in social media, in the in the local the local news, the local newspapers, have business campaigns, and all these are subject to data regulation and protection policies put in place. And this can enable you to only not give them offers and discounts. You can also have different ways of promoting the mass platform in a way that is bespoke to your area and in a way that users can be able to understand the need for using mass. So overall, mass concepts were brought about to empower people to use alternative ways of travel and to also ease their journey experiences. However, development of such platforms alone would not be effective and there is the need to supplement and encourage users to continue to use the said platforms. And technology alone is not enough and every day we aim to unearth ways in which we can strongly persuade road users to opt for mobility as a service as the desired choice of journey planning. So this is an initiative that is continually present during the life of the project and is necessary in you know, maintaining the durability of the project itself. So it's therefore important as developers and as a project team to keep at par with new ways of improving user experiences and still preserving the credibility of the mass platform that you create. So with all that said, um, I think we can come to the conclusion that development of mass platforms are important in encouraging travel and improving travel experiences of road users. But at the end of the day, without the users themselves and without ways of encouraging them to use them, then the platform is not as useful as it's meant to be. Thank you very much.